feel the fire We rise like tall buildings As the chemicals they take us higher If you have been wondering how you can pay your supplier on WeChat with the use of your Alipay or probably you've been wondering how to pay them using an escrow or an, a payment agent, then I got you covered. So I have this supplier that I've been buying things from her. Um, her name is Sandy. So you can see I've been buying things from her. So today, for instance, I came and sent her this um, blender so you can see it there. F 9525 blender i came and sent sent the picture to her and i told her that i want 12 so you can see where i've written 12 times question mark plus question mark is equal to question mark which implies that i want 12 pieces times the unit price plus the delivery from her warehouse to my shipping agent warehouse is equal to what will be the total amount then she came and replied that uh, the 12 pieces, the unit price is 59 RMB. Then the total for delivering the 12 pieces to my shipping company's warehouse address in China before shipment to Ghana is 40 RMB. So the total is what? 628 RMB. You can see it at the top there. Then there is this um, machine to this, the silver crest, the fufu machine. That's the how Ghanaians call it or in other words they call it a food processor so that one too i said i want 12 pieces so it came as 12 times 79 plus 40 i've explained this thing then i want the um six liters air fryer as well here is it that one too i want 12 pieces so in the order so she came and replied me as 12 times 75 plus 60 is equal to 960 and i want this blender as well which is having so she summed up everything. So I did all the calculations so you can see. So I'm buying four different items, which the total sum up to be 3,156 RMB. And she said, okay. Now, in order for me to pay this very supplier on WeChat, you know, because Ghanaians or Nigerians, if you are not in China, you don't have the mainland account, you can't pay, you can't have the WeChat pay. So it means I have to use my Alipay um, to pay her. So, you know, I've already paid her for some uh, items for some time ago. So, you know, you see that she has sent me her QR code. You see it at the top there. Yeah, wait a second. That's, and I paid her some time just recently. So you can see the money that I sent her some time back. So um, when she is done, I told her that I would indicate the package as what fragile and she said okay when she was she got done she sent me the the package so i asked her how many boxes and she said two i said okay then i asked her to send me the tracking number which she has sent and another so what i need to do from here what i need to do from here is this uh, qr code a qr code that's her alipay qr code so i come and click on the drop down arrow add it down then i click on the drop down arrow then to save it now, having saved it, what I need to do from here, let's take note of the total amount I'm supposed to pay here. That is what, 3,156 RMB. So what I need to do from here is to go and open my Alipay account. Yes. So having opened my Alipay account, let me check my account balance and see if I have enough balance to pay this very supplier. So from here, I come and click on balance then, oh, well, I have uh, enough funds that I think I can pay this very supplier. So um, I come here. So since I'm paying her using her QR code, using her QR code, then I have to come to home on my Alipay. Then at the top, I click on scan. Then I click on album. Then I come and select the product. Sorry, I come and select her QR code. Now, we, you have to be very mindful of the QR code. Sometimes if you are one that you have different, different QR code, you go to your phone album or your phone gallery, and there are different, different QR code from different suppliers. You have to be very careful the very one that you are selecting. Now, having clicked on the QR code, I click from the top down. Then from here, I enter the amount that I'm supposed to pay 
the supplier which is 3156 rmb then i click on p then the next interface is i click on verify and p now for security reasons my screen will go blank simply because i'm about to enter my alipay payment password so don't be bothered when you see my screen being blank so i'm done entering my alipay payment password so you can see everything the notification has come that i've sent um payment of 3156 rmb to the supplier successfully so from here what you need to do from here is to um, take a screenshot take a screenshot and uh, go and send the screenshot to the supplier but before i go and send the screenshot to the supplier i would like to say something now but before i say that thing let me go check my account balance and see what i'm left with so you see so you can see that there is a minus of minus 3156 rmb and my current account balance is 1115 rmb and some little coins so you can see it all for yourself now if for instance you don't have a verified alipay account uh, how can you pay the supplier so when the supplier sends you the the, the qr code just as i have demonstrated like sandy sent me the qr code you give that qr code to a reliable payment payment agent then that person pays your supplier on your behalf then we'll send you the screenshot of the payment then you go and send that screenshot evidence to your supplier yes so now what i need to do from here is to go and send the screenshot um from here so i can then click on the plus click on album then this is the payment screenshot evidence i click at the top here to select then i click on send so i've sent the screenshot evidence to the supplier when the supplier receives this screenshot uh, evidence the supplier will now come and confirm that um, she has received the payment successfully yes but mind you when you are placing an order on wechat make sure that you send your shipping address with your um shipping mark to the supplier so for this for instance i'm ordering it for one of my 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 clients one of my clients so i'm sending um my client's shipping address to sandy my supplier so you can see everything for yourself so that's the, my client shipping address with the shipping mark when my supplier is also done packaging everything my supplier will um send me pictures of the item of the item with the how do you call it the tracking number uh -huh, you see that she has replied so let's translate and see what she's saying they say well got it thank you so you can see that's so nice yes so when she is done, she will come and send me pictures just as she did previously uh, with this one. Then at the end of the day, I'll go and give it to my client. Then my client will send it to the her shipping agent and all that. In your case, for instance, if you do that, then uh, when she sends you the pictures of everything, your supplier sends you the pictures and the tracking number, you go and send the tracking number to your agent, your shipping agent, so that when they receive the goods you know that they have received the goods now when you place a successful order on wechat you can track on wechat so the tracking number the supplier will send you i'll leave a link if you are watching me on youtube i'll leave a link in the video description that you go watch how to track your goods when you have in place the order on the 68 mobile app yes how to track your goods successfully so that you will be able to know that it has your agent has received it or not so guys if you find value in this very tutorial if and today is your first time coming across my youtube channel please click on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell and stay updated as i when i drop a new video check in the description of this very video if you are watching me on youtube for more um legit links if you find it challenging to create a, a verified wechat account in the description of this very video on youtube i also leave it there if you are watching me on facebook instagram tiktok please um, share your comments because it, it is your comment that gives the moral and follow me for more i'm the person of fojimado see you in my next tutorial